Colin James talks about his stint on the series Corner Gas. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Canada. If you want to check out the entire interview with Colin, there's parts one and two as a podcast or a video. Links in the description of this video. Here's Colin James. Oh yeah, tell me about the uh, the corner gas stint. Yeah, well, the corner gas thing. Uh, Brent Butt, I met through Craig Northy because Craig Northy, uh, whose son did my video, Craig plays on my new record as well on a couple tunes. Um, Craig wrote the theme ca- song for Corner Gas, so that's Craig's song. And Brent Butt, as a uh, result, is a good friend of Craig's. And I, I've met Brent a few times uh, myself. So when I got the job, though, I had no idea. Janet Wright, who is not with us anymore, but was on that show. She was my first director. I, I, I was an actor for only a year of my life. I was in musical theater and she was my director of the first thing I ever did. So it was great to see her. She was an amazing woman. She was in McCabe and Mrs. Miller, that movie. Uh, so, uh, I love Janet and then she was exactly who you wanted as a director when you were a young, well, I never continued acting, but you know, I had, I had lines and I had a whole book I had to learn and I couldn't believe it was, you know, it was, for me, it was just one of those things I did on the way to just trying to get to Vancouver and starting my music career for real, but I appreciated it because I was broke and I got made about 700 bucks a week for about a year. So it was big news for me. Title tune, open road. Uh, by the way, that's uh, one of your top 10 songs on Spotify. Oh, yeah, that's great. Yeah, yeah. It's nice to see you got a, quite a few spins. Love the song. I'm a big fan of bouncy phrasing. And I like the way I like the way that song, I like the way you sing that song. What can you tell me about that? Well, initially, I wanted to kind of J.J. Kale groove. Uh, I, I, I'm a big J.J. Kale fan. And, you know, it's, it's I guess it's not overtly J.J. Kale in style, but... That was what set the, the, I just had a kind of a, a groove in mind. And, um, you know, with, with everyone being shut in, I think Open Road kind of uh, had some allure as a title. And every day is a surprise. I got that. I'm listening to this. I'm going, you know, the Open Road can give you so much, you know, visual, you know, images in your head. And, yeah. and my dad used to always say, every day is a surprise, man. What are you, you going to do? Yeah, right. And every life is an open road. And, yeah, we all have our... Uh, you know, um, things we have to get around and obstacles in the road, but, you know, it's, it, every day is a new day. And, um, uh, I guess that was what I, I enjoyed. And I, I enjoy kind of setting up a mood in that song. And I, I wrote that with Craig Northy, uh, my, my great old friend from, uh, the odds. Yeah. Craig. And you've been working with him. Yeah. Uh, a long, long time. Yeah. Yeah. He only lives in just a few, well, he lives about a mile that way, but, uh, you know, it's we, we did a video with his son who did down on the bo- down on the bottom the first uh, kind of rockier single, and uh, he just did a great job. He's a fantastic f- filmmaker, video maker, and uh, it was a great experience. Where did you get the Mustang for that video? Is that your uh, a guy here from North Van had it, and uh, we had to use it twice. So I got to know the car pretty good, although my feet barely hit the clutch. So, and I had to do these turns around on these little, this country road with a big ditch on either side. Was that Mission or Abbotsford that you were driving in? Where was that? Ladner. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. When you, when you left home, I'm just kind of curious. And it's a question I ask all artists. You're leaving home. Mom and dad, I got my pots and pans. I'm getting out of here. What was in your, what was in your record collection then? Well, I lived out of a garbage bag for quite a number of years. So there was no, by the time I got to Winnipeg, nothing came with me but a garbage bag full of clothes um, at the end of the day. What were you listening I to remember, when you were 16? What were you like? What, James what was- Cotton. Jay, well, so I moved to this little place in Winnipeg uh, that had a turntable in the basement and Bruce Springsteen. So I remember listening a lot to Born to Run that year. But that year, uh, I went and saw James Cotton at the Winnipeg Folk Festival, and there was probably 18,000 people. It was the final show of the night. So it's a, there was a pretty big festival, maybe big, maybe because I was younger, it seemed huge to me. And he came out and just slaughtered. It was like, because folk festivals, Winnipeg always got a fair amount of up-tempo stuff as well, not unlike the Evanston Folk Festival. They've always been pretty good at some folk stuff, some world music, and then, you know, a pretty good hit of... Uh, some pop pop music as well. But anyway, Cotton came up. I was 16 years old. I saw him sing and play the harmonica, killed it, and just killed the audience were just 
it was just so good and it just kind of changed everything for me. I hope you enjoyed that. Many more parts coming up to our Colin James interview. We actually talked to him twice in the last month and there's links in the description of this video where you can check out the podcast and the entire interview on our sister channel, Rock History Book. And Colin has a brand new album out. Remember, links in the description as well where you can pick that up. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel and share our videos. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Canada. <laughs>